We all got themselves. They were just alarm activation. Copy, this will be a priority one. Right, three, four, you show me on scene. Copy. Copy, nobody asked me to call beacons to me, beacons for that vehicle. Yeah, I'm Private First Class Wicks, 21st Military Police Company, Airborne. Uh, how I find the motivation to, um, if I'm feeling drained, basically this is what I signed up for. I know this is what I'm getting into, so I have to keep pushing every day. Um, this was not, you know, required of me. This is what I signed up for. So every day I'm trying to get up and uh, continue to drive forward and try to find the good in each little thing I do. I'm excited about this a little bit. So for mid shift is a 21 to 05 technically shift. Um, we usually come in about 1700 to about 1815 for uh, shift PT with the, the shift guys. Um, and then we'll have weapons draw 1915 and 1930. So we'll come in there, draw our tasers, our OCs, our M17 pistol, 
um, an M4 if you're assigned one for that day. Um, then we'll have a formation, our, our Sierra and Oscar, our sergeants will check us for all of our uh, tasers, handcuffs, make sure everything's working, uh, flashlights, make sure we have everything for the shift. And then we'll march over to the, the LEC PMO um, around 1945, 1950, uh, about 20 hundred, we'll have a guard mount class. I'm going over paperwork we need for the shift, uh, briefing from the last shift, what happened, what to look out for, and then uh, PMCS in our vehicle, make sure there's no, what scratches are there, make sure our lights and sirens are working, the camera's working, the basic stuff for our vehicle, and then we'll hit the road about 2100 and we'll start patrolling. Uh, what motivates me the most as a United States Army soldier um, is just being able to serve uh, people back home, serve this country. Um, it allows me to motivates me to be physically fit, um, in the best shape, and uh, be proficient with my warrior tasks and drills, and be the best soldier I can be, and realize this is a, a selfless act and it's not all about me. Um, the, the most rewarding type of, I wouldn't say calls, but when I, when I go back to my barracks, um, is any time I actually uh, help somebody out, whether it be a medical call, and I saw their families smile on their faces that we helped somebody out with something, and it, uh, it drives us as a team to want to have more of those moments versus going home on a on a bad note and always trying to find the positive in each thing as we're on the road or doing combat support finding the good and everything okay uh, what i wish more people knew about being a military police officer is there's actually two different uh tasks we have we you know we're tasked with a law enforcement mission patrolling uh fort bragg and we're also uh about combat support to tanny ops you know we have a assigned weapon like any other unit does um also we're not we're police we're policing the community we're trying to get we're responding to calls like any, any other civilian law enforcement is. We're actually here to help you. And a lot of people think, well, you know, we're out to get you. That's not true at all. We're actually here to help the community fort back because this is where we live as well. Uh, communication skills, especially when you're working the road, uh, talking to people, um, also being physically fit. Um, if you're involved in a physical fight with a su uh, suspect or you're in a foot chase, being physically fit, and also a we weapons and marksmanship with your M17 pistol and your M4. Uh, while I've been patrolling, uh, I've dealt with many members of the community. Um, it's usually their worst day of their life when they're calling the police. Um, I've had a traffic accident where the car was drivable, but it had two flat tires. I spent, you know, a good bit of time with the uh, sub, uh, the, sus the subject, and I uh, fixed the flat tire for her, and she was on her way without having to call a tow company and spend an outrageous amount of money towing her vehicle.